Welcome everyone to another episode of Tips and Tricks. This is a YouTube series that I started a while ago, just bite-sized little tips to help you improve your StarCraft game. And then it kind of fell off because honestly I, I ran out of tips, but I did think of one recently and it is to do with the experience point option in your settings. So some of you out there are like, I didn't even know that StarCraft had experience points. Well, it does. And there's a way to make it appear over the head of your killed, uh, the units you kill, right? So 50, 100, whatever, whatever. And those experience points lead into getting like portraits and unlockables, basically. But there's a reason to use it outside of just wanting to know how far along you are on the race levels, because let's be real, most of you watching this video probably don't care about that. But professionals use this, and it is actually helpful in your multiplayer games as well. You want to put the experience points uh, option on to actually see it as you see here in the video, which is going to be in your settings. Now in those settings, go ahead and click it on, and then now you're going to see all the experience points pop up. Now why is it useful? Well, the experience points also pop up a little bit in the fog of war. So if you have a projectile unit, let's say a cyclone or a viking, a marauder, protossons are units as well, whatever, right? Sometimes you are up against, let's say a war prism because that's a pretty common dynamic with this one. You're up against a war prism, it's flying away from your base, you're like, oh my god, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to kill it. You can't see if you kill it because the Viking actually shoots and then runs out of vision, basically. Now, if you didn't have the experience points on, you wouldn't be able to see if you killed it or not. However, if you did, then the experience points would still pop up, confirming your kill even in the fog of war. So I'm gonna try and do that here with a couple of cyclones up against a Protoss army. It's gonna take me a few tries, but I think I'll be able to do it. Uh, but the point is that you're gonna be able to see the experience points actually pop up even after I've lost vision. All right, let's try it with this lock on. As you can see, we've run away, but then with the fog of war, I saw 125 experience points was that actually pop up confirming that I got the kill. Now, this isn't too useful if you're using units that are pretty much guaranteed to get kills, you know, like hit scan units and whatnot, but especially like the very, very helpful scenario that I gave about killing a warp prism that flies off in the fog of war is probably the most useful of it. Uh, other situations include maybe you're chasing down a Colossus with ground units that then goes to high ground and as such you lose vision. You'd be able to see if you actually get the last shot with your Marauder. It's a very useful tool, and while maybe initially it can be kind of annoying to see those experience points pop up, I guarantee you it disappears. I didn't have this turned on initially as I wasn't really playing a lot of StarCraft when I first heard about it because it was a, it was a new toggle, uh, I think, for Legacy of the Void. But as soon as I did, I was like, oh man, this is kind of annoying. I got over it. I don't even think about it anymore. It's a default setting for me now, and it is helpful for your game. So. Give it a go, I promise you'll be fine with it, and it might help you confirm some of those kills that otherwise you would have no idea. It can be actually pretty darn important. So hopefully it helped, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys for another tip, perhaps in the future. See ya.